All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video for today. And I'm here to take a look at the accessibility trailer for The Last of Us Part 1 Remake, or just Part 1, I guess. I guess you don't really need to call it a remake when they put the Part 1 in there. Um, so, yeah, it comes out in a week, exactly, actually. So, I'm, I, this is the thing. I really want to play Last of Us again. Ever since they showed the trailer for this, I was like, yeah, you know what? I think it's time. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think there's been a lot of stuff they've shown that has looked great. And then another, a lot of stuff, oh, I'm just like not a fan of it. Not that it didn't look better technically, but I'm just not a fan of it. But I did see some screenshots. People have been sharing screenshots where like, there's like just weird, not even animations, just like weird, like faces in the game sometimes. Like, like Ellie will look really weird sometimes in the game. Like when she's walking around, she'll just like be making faces. I don't know if those were like doctored. I guess it could have been just for people that don't like that it's getting remade. I have no idea. But anyway, accessibilities uh, for Last of Us Part 2. You can say a lot about Last of Us Part 2, but the one thing that is definitely great, 100%, is the accessibility features and the graphics and the acting. I mean, we, we I think we can all say that at least story <laughs> gameplay wise it's pretty great too i i think it's a great everything except you know maybe the story i'm not saying that's my opinion it is but <laughs> let's go out your 4k let's go three two one play this will give us another chance to see some gameplay Stop Don't let into the building. That's to great, some yeah. extent the principles behind accessibility are a good universal design principles. Show us some, a lot so of stuff. thankfully we're able to think about okay well if this information is only yeah. available on screen well then it's not accessible to a blind player That's or if great. this information is something you only hear joel there's a guy up on that second floor right there it's not accessible to a deaf player. One of the frontiers okay. that we've pushed on the most uniquely is vision accessibility. Yeah. We have navigation assistance. Oh, we have okay. Listen mode that lets you scan for enemies, and that suite of uh, features you're wearing, like, the, enables the gameplay to be played like your, by players. The headphones are really helpful. I think that's something quite remarkable in the video game space. There's not a lot of other games I've seen do that, and the feedback we've gotten on that has been incredible. As she surveys the apartment, her eyes wander to Joel. She steps past the couch. He wears the wristwatch Sarah gifted him, which now has a cracked face. All sorts of people think, in the past wanted to play our games. I swear I've heard that piece of dialogue they before. Some they must have shown this part before. Game. So yeah. it's really exciting that oh my God, no, all sorts of no, visions no, can jump no, into no, part no, one. And again, seamlessly transition It does look like the environment's look great. The lighting looks awesome. same award-winning accessibility features. I feel like the way they're describing accessibility features, they're more proud of themselves more than they, you know what I mean? They're more, um, it really seems like they're just like, yeah, that's right. We made, we made those accessibility. We're the ones we did it. But I guess saying the way they're saying it could possibly lead to other people wanting to do it. Like, yeah, that's right. We want awards for this. You should do it too. So maybe it'll, it'll, maybe it'll be for the best. I guess, because uh, Forza Horizon Five had some. I think that was that one like best accessibility features last year, right? That that was insane, like the amount of accessibility features in that. I only played it for a few hours, but uh, anyway, there you go. I, I mean, it looks really nice. It's just like there's certain things I don't like how they ch like they changed. Like her face looks more like Ashley Johnson. I get it. Not that the actor d needs. I mean, the uh, character needs to look like the actor in a video game. Shit, even in a movie, I feel like that's not always the case, obviously. Put some makeup on those fuckers. There you go. Look at, like, Heath Ledger as the Joker. Like, if I didn't know that was Heath Ledger, I would have never known. Well, if they never, ever announced that it was Heath Ledger, ever. And I mean, in the credits, you'd be like, who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> All sorts. Uh, that would have been funny. There should be, like, one movie where someone gets added to the movie and never announced ever like who it actually is like you'll have to figure out yourself kind of um yeah that's happened before but i mean like really like one where like you cannot tell and, oh shit, that was leonardo dicaprio as the penguin in the next batman movie what the fuck that'd be really weird because then colin farrell played him before but oh there you go that's actually one right there but they announced colin farrell was in it so we all knew eventually before the movie came out but would have been amazing if we never knew colin farrell was in a movie and he and he, and he came out and they, they even put him in the credits i'm sure that's happened before oh that's my ac i'm sure that's happened anyway there you go that's it bye